Bokatov, I'm Stephen Vindanoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Palestinian envoy uh, Riyad Manassour actually stated that, uh, that, that the Palestinian Authority wants to be able to, to take up criminal charges against Israel for war crimes as they have now been given the uh, observer status with the ICC, the International Criminal Court. They say they want to bring the Israelis to justice for the criminal actions that were committed against their people by Israel's military. Seems kind of absurd that they would make such statements as that, and yet the atrocities that the Palestinians do, as they call in retaliation, suicide bombings against civilians, attacks on civilians, rock throwing, bombings, fire bombs, acid in their faces, and murder and rabbis being murdered, people that are not even part of the military being murdered and slaughtered, and yet the world stand by and applauds the Palestinian and say that this is only revenge. Why are they not being draw, drawn into the international uh, court, <laughs> criminal court that is, that is so uh, boasting to, to bring charges against Israel? the 122 nations. There again, it only shows that the prophecies that all nations would come against Israel is being fulfilled. And about the only way that any of this will ever come to an end is when Israel finally stands up and puts their God first. Tear down the altars to Baal, the Dome of the Rock being the first one that should go, right along with all of the Catholic altars to Baal that are throughout the land. Then... Maybe then God can do something for the children of Israel. Also, in other things, uh, in Israel's security, uh, the Fatah is now hinting on calls for the assassination of, Isra of the Israeli leader, President, or excuse me, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. According to the article, that uh, the, the information that was first released by the uh, PMW, which is the Palestinian Media Watch. Uh, they stated there that they're calling on for the assassination of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as a retaliation for Z uh, Ziad Abu Ain, who, is, who died of a heart attack in a recent scuffle with police in East Jerusalem. Uh, just one other way that they believe that they should handle things, uh, which is certainly not at all of the norm. Said also in the article just today, it, it was announced that announced in Israel that the IDF has been cleared of responsibility for the death of Abu Ain and convicted terrorist with blood on his hands. Abu Ain was sentenced to life imprisonment in 1982 after planting a bomb in Tiberias that killed two Israelis. He served only three years in jail before he was freed in a prisoner swap. So this was kind of absurd about that. This man here was exalted and honored into the Palestinian government after being a suicide bomber, killing a murderer, in fact, makes you kind of wonder just exactly what is Israel getting? Makes me think in the Christian scriptures when it was cried out, release Barabbas instead of Jesus. Jesus, the man that was of peace, was murdered by the Romans. But instead, Barabbas was released. Israel has released thousands of Barabbases. What can we expect in return? I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live. Have a good day.